Namaste and welcome to Dragonfly Cookery and Knives. In this video I'm going to be showing you a couple of products that are already available on our website and they're also some of our most popular cookeries that we have available that has been really uh, popular among you guys. And that is the Villager uh, Serapati, which is uh, this one I'm holding up. This is the original prototype that we came up with. It comes with the patuka buttons and a tender pouch. Now, a couple things that we've been uh, getting comments on that we're going to be fixing and correcting uh, for all the new ones coming in. And that is we're going to be trying to find either a better quality leather or we're going to soften these up before you get them to where the tender pouch actually is easier for you to use. And that's for the version that has the patuka buttons and the tender pouches. Now, um, some of you have requested a different carrying system than this one. When I first designed it, my intention was to just carry it in a backpack. And then when you're at campsite, you're going to be taking it out of its scabbard and using it anyways. And at the close of when you're finished using it, you're going to clean it up and put it back home. So uh, that was the, and also I wanted to keep it very traditional to the traditional uh, villager Serapati but dressed up a bit. So because of some of your requests, you've requested to have the same cookery but able to carry it on your belt. So what we've done is we've done this uh, scabbard system that allows you to have a belt carry system. It comes with the frog. Uh, we did eliminate the tender pouch on it and the patuka buttons. Um, it's very easy to slide in and out. If you still want to carry it in your backpack, you can put it, slide it in your backpack and have the frog on your belt ready for when you're ready to use it or if you're, um, you now come across some trail that needs some clearing or you're out there, you're hunting and you're ready to start uh, clearing your fire lane or build your, your blind in case or repair your blind if it got damaged then you could take it out of your backpack, slide it into your frog, and now you have your cookery on your side the whole time. Um, also, when you sit down, you can slide it out very easily. So it just makes it more user-friendly uh, as a relevant tool that you would take out uh, as part of your kit. Uh, it comes with the, the Carta and the Chakmak. We've increased the size of all of our Chakmaks now to where they're four inch blades, Scandi grind, with a, um, with a three inch handle. So they're very relevant tools that um, really work well for secondary use. So look for this version as well as this version. They, they'll be um, under the same listing of the villager Serapati. But if you wish to have it with the carry frog, you can request it uh, to be built this way. Next one that I'm gonna show you and talk about is the um, the Great War Serapati. This is it. Um, what is different about this one than the other ones that you've seen on the website is that this one is a pan wall. So it is a full tang construction. Now for all of our cookeries, if they have a stick tang, majority of them can be built with a pan wall, a full tang version such as you f see our Great War Serapati. Now this makes this even a more relevant survival tool if you were going to take it out um, in that if something should happen where this handle cracks or falls off you still have the full tank construction which you can uh, wrap with cordage and still be able to use and survive with it hence why it becomes a even more uh, prominent survival tool however if you're in uh, really cold environments and stuff like that uh, such as up in Alaska, you may not want a full tang. So we're still offering it with uh, this, the stick tang and butt plate, uh, which is more uh, suitable and conducive for that type, those types of environment. Um, again, it comes with a, a full size, very prominent, user-friendly uh, carta with a Scandi grind, uh, convex edge, and four inch blade with the, uh, with the um, three inch handle. So uh, that you will find on all of our, our cookeries where we're including the uh, Chakmak and the Cardas uh, that are built by Roger Borelli 
uh, exclusively for Dragonfly cookery and knives. So uh, look for it on our website. You'll find it under the Great War Serapati and you will have that selection where you can select it as a pan wall or as the stick tank. So those are uh, just a couple up updates on those. Now, the next one I'm going to show you, I'm going to start off with my drawing board. This is the original drawing that I first came up with when I came up with this new design. I wanted to do a chitling. And granted, there's many cookery houses that offer really nice chitling style blades. And that's probably the reason why I really haven't added one to our website yet. But I thought it was, a little, it was time to finally do one. I do like the design of them and they're very functional and useful and light and fast. So they're a great cookery for martial artists. They're also great cookeries to uh, carry along uh, in the field, going backpacking, hiking, hunting, um, especially if you're taking any long trips and weight is of a consideration. Yet they're long enough to where they are very relevant choppers and are able to uh, clear brush, clean up a, a campsite, cut a fire lane if you're a hunter. So they become very relevant for those purposes. This is also one of the designs that a lot of the Gurkhas like to carry. They'll go to their villages and, and have the blacksmiths there make this kind of version that they'll actually carry in combat with them uh, in the current day uh, rather than their uh, MK5s that are the, of the moderns that are given to, um, given to them when they're enlisted. So this one has um, you know, the enclosed cowdy which is the cow's hoof and um, has a more prominent kind of bell shape at the uh, end of the pommel, which gives it that, that particular characteristics of the, of the um, is it chitling cookery. And it originally originated with the, in the chitlan village, hence why it, it was named uh, after that village. Uh, it will come with a prominent four uh, inch blade, uh, cowdy fully functional, plus your chuckmuck that has the uh, the file side of it and also the textured side for creating fuzz. So highly functional uh, piece. So this was the drawing, the concept, and what was given to Roger Borelli, uh, the blacksmith that ended up building, building our original one. And this is our prototype of that cookery that I just showed you. Now this cookery has a hollow forged, so it's it's a hollow grind here in this, or an eek chair, has one very large fuller, which helps really lighten this blade and making it very fast and very, uh, very easy to carry, very easy to swing, especially if you have to swing it for a prolonged period, whether it be cutting, uh, blazing a trail or like I said, building a fire lane, cleaning up your campsite. You're not going to expend a lot of calories using this cookery. It's, it's very light and very fast. The cookery alone comes in at, let me see if I can, comes in at 498 grams. And the blade length on this particular cookery is, um, it comes in at 13 and a half inches in length. The handle on this particular one uh, is four and a half inches. So uh, you're talking about the total length of 18, uh, 19 inches, total length of 19 inches overall. Now it doesn't have a super uh, thick spine, it's about a quarter inch at the bolster and does distal taper to the tip, which also helps in it being a very light cookery. Its balance point is right there and yes, it will dance on a nail tip. It's well balanced and light enough. I have my uh, nail here, so let's go ahead and I will demonstrate that it will actually balance on the tip of this nail. And we're not talking about a flat surface here. We're talking about a point. So bear with me while I'm trying to get it to even find the point. And then we will get it to where at its balance point, which is roughly right about 
We almost got it. A little bit forward. And there we go. It bounces on a tip and it will dance for you, as you can see. So it's a very well balanced cookery. Uh, will function very well. And uh, one thing I really like about the chitling is that you have this little spot right here that allows you to index. You can actually come up closer, which gives you really great control in, in doing your feathers or notching. Um, it also allows you to get up there and you can index this. If you wanted to process a, a, an elk or a moose and you need a large knife, uh, this will definitely allow you to be able to do some skinning with it. It's light enough, balanced well enough to where it's, it's not hard to index. It's not hard to use at all. So this is a, one of my favorite of the uh, Serapati Slim Blades, but the Chitlang uh, Cowdy. Very beautiful. Uh, Roger did an outstanding, excellent job as he always does. This comes with a stick tang and uh, steel pommel and keeper. Remember, this can also be made into a pan wall version if that's what you so desire. When I do add it to the website, which will hopefully be very soon, uh, you will be able to order it uh, either way. You can also order it with horn handles. So it'll be available with horn and wood handles. So this is a beautiful cookery that is highly functional and uh, very traditional. And, um, and I can see why many Gurkhas would really like carrying this. Also comes with a full, uh, a full cowdy that has a four inch blade, Scandi grind, three inch handle. Very useful tool for your small camp chores like processing your food. The chakmak, as, as I showed in the, on the drawing, has the texture on one side and the file on the other side which allows easier access to, to uh, reprofile your blade if you should get rolls or nicks. Also has a 90 degree spine and a very prominent tip on it. So if you don't have uh, any means or way to create fire and you need to do a friction fire, you can definitely start a bow drill uh, divot with the point of this. And, um, or if you did have uh, any type of friction uh, heat such as, or a, a spark heat like hitting a river stone or, um, uh, off a of ferro rod. It does have a um, tender pouch. Again, if you soften it up with a mink oil, it becomes very easier to open, but it does have the little pouch in it that you can take out and put the tender in. Um, the belt frog does slide off, although this one is uh, brand new, so it's a little tight, but it will slide off and allow you to take it in and out. I haven't broken it in yet. Um, and it comes with a traditional uh, patuka belt, uh, Patuka buttons as well. So this is more uh, like the military style scabbard for this particular cookery. And again, I was kind of thinking about uh, if any of the Gurkhas uh, need to replace their uh, MK5 that, of the current issue, uh, perhaps they might want to venture over to my website and uh, order one. We can make it for you. <laughs> Anyways, this is an excellent I'm very proud of it. it. It's a design that came out right the first time. This is the prototype and it's perfect. I'm not going to need to change anything about it. Uh, so uh, look for it. It'll be available soon on our website. The overall, the entire package comes in and weighs in at 829 grams. So that's a really good weight um, for the entire kit. And again, the blade it alone weighs in at 498 grams, so very light, very uh, very relevant cookery. Um, hope you like it. Look for it. It's the Chitlang uh, Serapati. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel and leave any comments or questions there. Also visit me on my Facebook page at Blue Dragonfly Training Post, where again you can leave comments and questions there. I love to read them and, and I will answer them as promptly as I can. And by all means, look for the Chitlang Serapati soon to be added to our website at dragonflycookeryandknives.com. Thank you very much for watching. Namaste and God bless.